don't worry, Gretel. I will only think of something. If they leave us in the forest, we will find a way home. Hansel slipped out of the house and filled his pockets with little white pebbles, and then went back to bed. All night long, the woodcutter's wife heard on and on at her husband's bill at dawn. He led Hansel and Gretel away into the forest, but as they went into the depths of the trees, Hansel dropped a little white pebble here and there on the mossy ground. Soon the children found they were really alone. The woodcutter made them up an excuse and was gone. Night fell, but the woodcutter did not return. leaned in the night, and the children found their way home. Cold, but thankful to be home again. They slipped into bed. Thank you, Hansel. You are a very good brother. The next day, when the stepmother found out the children had returned, she grew very angry. She scolded her husband for not carrying out her orders. The wicked stepmother kept Hansel and Gretel in the lucky seat the entire day and fed them very little. She only fed them a sip of water and some hard bread for supper. The woodcutter was afraid to disobey his very full wife, but loved his children very much. After much protesting and arguing, the woodcutter led the children out into the forest. Hey, Gretel, don't worry. I saved my bread from supper last night. I shall leave a trail to mark the way. Hansel had forgotten that the birds in the forest were very hungry. When they saw the crumbs, they flew along behind and in no time at all had eaten all the crumbs. Once again, the woodcutter left his children alone in the forest. The children waited for nightfall and tried to find their way home eating the crumbs. To their horror, all the crumbs were gone. <laughs> So frightened. Don't be afraid, Gretel. I'm here to look after you. Hansel tried to encourage his sister, but he too shivered when he glimpsed frightened, frightening shadows and evil eyes around him in the darkness. All night, the two children huddled together for warmth at the foot of a large tree. When dawn broke, the children began walking until they came to a strange cottage. The witch had very poor eyesight. She put a smeared butter on her glasses to make it even worse. <laughs> well, run on and check the other. I can't tell if it's hot enough or not. Useless child. All right, I'll see for myself. When the witch bent down to peer inside the oven and checked the heat, Gretel gave her a tremendous push and ah! slammed the oven shut. <laughs> the witch had come to her end. 
but a wind set of brothers free, and they made quite sure that the oven door was <coughs> tightly shut behind the witch. <coughs> the witch is not one to see this, so we'll take this treasure with us. Let's try to find our way home. They were much luckier this time, and on the second day, they saw their father come out of the house towards them, weeping. He told them that their stepmother was dead and begged them to go home with him.